Okay, so we're back now. I've cleaned up and I've just set this here. This is not that exciting. I've got a grade, or which has been cloned two times, and it just happens to be driven by a transform. So all I've done with the grade here is I've just set the gain to be equivalent to the uh, transforms. What did I pick? I think rotate. What did I actually pick? The rotate. So I don't know why that, there you go. Must be a display update thing. So these two, th uh, you could have some sort of gain based upon rotation. I don't know, it's, it's good for this example though. So clones have the unique property that all of them you'll notice have the same name and they all have the same properties panel. So if I change the lift on this one to minus 0.22, it is the same, that they're not different. And the fact that they've got the same name should indicate that, right? Because they can't, you, you can't have multiple nodes with the same name in the node graph. So that means this is controlling this, which also is the same as these two. But if we're looking in terms of image processing in terms of the graph, if I put down a right node, this picture is different from this picture is different from this picture, quite obviously, because, well, we're feeding one with a checkerboard and one with a color wheel and, and different things. So the first problem with uh, clones is how do you refer to them? So in this case, we'll do this. Um, we know the name, nuke two node, grade one. So if, if I do this, it's going to give me back grade one. But question is, which grade one did it give me back? Uh, all of them? Cool. Right, because disable is a property that's shared by all of them. Okay, that's fine, because we're changing something that affects all of them. But what happens when we ask, what's your input zero, okay? It's the color wheel. And it's actually, you'll notice the arrows all go in a particular direction. So if I, this one, they're all radiating out for this one grade. So generally, if you say nuke two node, you're going to get what I'm going to refer to as the master, uh, the, the main one. So everything's going to punch into that. So you can sort of visually see what you're getting into. But as you can see, this doesn't help because we we want to know the specific grade. For our, for our purposes, uh, someone selecting it can resolve that problem for you, all right? Someone who is setting up something like a write set up here, you can get the thing underneath and say, the writes inputs get you to the correct grade. So that's not generally a problem, but it does illustrate one of the challenges. So the second challenge uh, is this. So if I select this grade, and we're not gonna use this system, we're actually gonna pick it correctly. So this node, so let's look at the node here. Input, input zero here is the constant. So we know we have this thing, right? Now let's ask it what its um, dependencies are. So we're gonna take out nuke expression to say, just give me everything. If you don't tell it what kind of dependency is, it'll give you everything. So let's have a look quickly. Um, it's, I'm telling you about constant one. Now this is a problem because if you were to use this kind of approach to work out what nodes you didn't need in your script and you could delete, it's gonna delete this transform because it doesn't know it needs it. It's not expression linked to this instance of the clone, all right? And that's where it gets a bit messy. So for clones, <clears throat> what you have to do is be a little bit sneakier. Now I, before, while switching over. I had a look through the API. I swear there was a call for this. I can't find it, so I may not be remembering correctly, but we'll do it the long way. So what we're going to do is something that's, uh, in this case, horribly inefficient, but illustrates the idea. So we're going to get every node in the node graph, which you can see there's a couple of these grade ones here. So that, that's good, right? So we know we can get all of them. Now we want to filter this back. In fact, we'll do it properly. So this is the selected node, so I've already got it here. So what I want to say is um, all nodes equals this thing, all nodes I care about. All right, so I want to filter this list above to just be the things I care about. And what's my rule? Well, all clones have the same name. So let's just find all the clones with the same name. So I want to say node for node in all the nodes, if the node.name equals the node name. 
Uh, as I read that out, that just sounds horribly confusing. So let me just, uh, let me get some more space and let me just change it. So the selected node, that probably will read a little bit better. So if, there you go, and we'll just break it all, uh, yeah, okay. Break it into another line so it looks readable. So node for node in all nodes. If um, I'm not sure if that's the correct way to break it up, but it'll be for now. So you get all the nodes, and the only ones I care about is the nodes. Each node um, in all of the nodes. If the node I'm I'm testing, if the name is equal to the selected node name. So let's actually run this and see what we get. And I would need to do this because I changed my variable name. Okay, what does that mean? So you can see here grade one, grade one, grade one. So that's a way to select all of them. Now, we still want to say if we had this selected node, we could delete the color wheel, we could delete this checkerboard, we could delete these two, we cannot delete the transform, otherwise our expressions break. So next stage of that is we need to go through each of these in the nodes for clone in all the nodes I care about. Get some more space so you can read it properly. So we need to ask it, hey, the things we care about are expression links. So clone dot dependencies, dependencies, um, and it's new dot expressions. All right, so really, uh, we will just, um, we're going to cheat quickly because we know that uh, all the expressions, trust me on this one, if you're expression linking, they'll all go to one of them. You won't have a situation where grade one, grade two, drive that. See how they're all going to the, the same thing? You won't have to worry about summing together these things. So you can just say, if you have any dependencies, then um, dependencies equals, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll just make it equal to that one. Um, as you're watching this, this is not necessarily how I'd write something, but Python's great because it, it allows me to just do stuff quickly and then I'll reread and just go, oh no, that, that sounds silly. That's what I'm doing right now, actually. So my dependencies are going to be, what? oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm going insane. I was about to say, why have I got two? Because I have two expressions. So this is this section here, this up. so I built something that can take a selected node. Then we filter out to deal with clones. Note, this is fine for anything, because if I select a color wheel, um, I'm testing against the name and nothing has the same name as the color wheel. It's inefficient because you can simply ask um, I think you can ask me like you can ask it how many clones have you got? So if you ask the color wheel it's got no clones so you wouldn't even bother with any of this stuff. So we'll, we'll actually deal with that in a second as we build this up a bit more. So let's uh, close that. So top is we've got a thing that deals with a selected node we then get all the possible nodes that are clones of it. Then we want to find out what the expression dependencies are. And then finally, we're just going to do dependencies um, extend. We're going to add more dependencies to it. And we're going to know what the selected nodes dependencies are, dot dependencies. All right, and we can ask for all of them. We don't have to filter it back because we know what it is. And then you can just print dependencies. So let's um, select everything. Right. So this node selected tells me if you wanted to clean up this script, you could delete everything apart from grade two, transform one and constant one. So grade one, grade two, constant one, transform one. That is correct. That is what you could keep, right? So if we selected grade one, it thinks it needs uh, what have we got? We've got grade two, transform one, color wheel, grade two. Um, yeah, okay, that's that's a bug in my code. It's doubling it up, but that's fine. 
um, great two and tr yes it's doubling it up because I picked the master node here this this little bit here uh, I should be using a set instead of a list um, yeah do that a second and then grade one same and this code works on pretty much anything so color wheel doesn't need anything constant needs nothing transform needs nothing if we put a blur in blur needs nothing transform needs a blur so you know that was behind my head there was a blur there so so yeah I'll, I'll comment this code so you can see what we're doing so basically we're um force artist to make a selection to run on we'll put in a guard here if actually even more thing uh, like the function thing I'm just going to write out what I'm actually trying to achieve demonstration uh, demo script to get the total um, get the correct yeah we'll call it correct and then C's for the case of clones All right so we're going to force the artist to make a selection to run on you can replace that with whatever you want we're going to add a guard here if the selected node has clones so if it has clones then you will need to do all this stuff here all right so if the selected node has clones clones in the script all right so that that will find all the clones in the script if it doesn't then well all nodes you care about just happen to be um you can uh, Hmm, thinking. Let's do it this way actually. If it has clones, let's just do the whole lot. So this is check each clone. Look for the one with exp expression dependent tendencies. All right, cool. So that's that's all we've we've really done. We've, we've got a selection. If it's got clones, then you've, oops. If it's got clones, you've got to do things. Um, let's just pull that out quickly. So, right. So we've got a bunch of node, uh, we've got a selected node. We want to find the true dependencies, right? So expressions and everything else. If the node we have selected has clones, do special work, otherwise, just do the regular thing with just the nodes dependencies and that's fine so that is a little bit of a rig there if you pick grade one on that so sit here um and since i've gone well over time i'm going to split this into two video uh, i will have split this into two videos by the time you see it so let's just do the last thing see how you've got all this garbage here you've got doubling up that's not cool it's because all i've done is i've added stuff repeatedly to a list so one way I could have done it is instead of making this a list, I could have made this a set. Um, so a set is like the alphabet is a set. You don't have two A's in it. It, it. There is one letter A in the alphabet. It is a set. If you put another letter A in the alphabet, you still only have one letter A. It's just, it is what it is. A list of letters is different. So we're making dependencies a set to remove any duplicates. So um, dependencies, uh, my set materials, I th can't remember. I think dependencies you can extend, no, append, add. All right, uh, I think you can do help. D set, sets have their own language, uh, so yeah, okay. So a union of set is, you would have seen this actually, and anytime people say comps not super mathematical, ha, huh, whatever. Uh, you will know this stuff union right so union intersection a or b you see this when you do your b box obviously you know what a union is um, and it's because you've got two b boxes which represent in our case two sets of potential information what do you want do you want the stuff that's common to them both do you want them both smashed together or do you just want a or b that's all i'm doing here i just couldn't remember the word so Clone dependencies here is going to be a list. So we're going to convert that to a set. And then we're going to be uh, equals union dependencies. Union. Uh, that one. 
and then dependencies is going to be another union here. Um, dependencies equals dependencies dot union. Yeah. Okay. That may be a little bit confusing now. So let's just see if that works still. Yep, it's an empty set. Cool. And you can see in this case, that change has meant that I don't double up. Now there's some other, when you're building this stuff, you'll have to decide if you want sets, lists, or other things. Converting between the two is pretty trivial because a set is, a set is a list with no order that can't have duplicates. And so you can just go back from one to the other. Like, yeah, I, I might have to explain data types a bit better later. Uh, so this code here is, I'll just stretch that all the way up. So that, that's that's pretty much an example of where clones make your life a little bit more annoying and confusing when you're walking around the node graph and having to deal with dependencies. Outside of that, it's pretty straightforward. If you're just using the input method, um, so on the selected node dot input, input and inputs is all you really care about. The, they're straightforward and then Dependencies. Dependencies, oh, I didn't mention dependent, but dependencies is the complex one. Dependent's pretty easy. Dependent is just a case of what uses me. So the selected node is a uh, grade one. All right, so what uses grade one? Nothing. Transform one, so if we uh, selected node here, what uses transform one? Grade one. So it, it will tell you grade one is using me. What 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 do I feed into? And if you have the help up here, and if I don't make that tiny, you can see it's got exactly, uh, I'll clear that and rerun that. It's got exactly the same kind of help structure. You can see it's still got expressions, link inputs, inputs, and hidden inputs. So there is some additional detail here. Um, force evaluates an interesting one. Um, it's because it, it's down to a little bit of uh, the way a um, the way the node graph works, and it's not just our nuke node graph. It's the same set of principles that will drive most, maybe even all node graphs. It's the concept of, in our case, where we send our requests. How often do you have to evaluate things to make sure everything's uh, coherent and not wacky? But yeah, I've probably spoken for too long on this one. So yeah, that is part two of walking through the tree and dealing with clones. So yeah, let us know if there's any questions. Otherwise, um, all right, I'll talk to you guys later.